The brown trout, one of the most common non-native species in the U.S., is the subject of a lot of debate. They regularly compete with native species in the waterways they now call home, but have also provided angling opportunities where there weren't any before. It's a point of contention for many trout anglers, but one thing's for sure, they're one of my favorite fish to target. Yo, 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 yo. Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to another video. So today I'm gonna be probably Euro nymphing for trout and hopefully some bigger brown trout, or at least that's gonna be the goal. Obviously it's hard to predict that, but the water's raised, or the water has risen and there's uh, a lot of fish feeding now. The bugs are starting to hatch. So I have a good feeling that we might be able to put some decent fish in the net. Um, I'm here with Lucas Powell too, a buddy of mine. And literally the goal is just to see what kind of fish we catch. I don't really have much of a point in this video other than just catch fish because I feel like for the past month, I've kind of been in a rut, at least as far as catching some really good fish goes. At least it feels like that. It may not actually be the case, but, and Lucas just got stuck in a tree. <laughs> this is such a lazy fish for me. Like I should get closer, but screw it, I will. Oh, that's a nice fish. No, dang it. Dang, that was a good brown trout. I'm a moron. I should have landed that fish. Dang, dude, he was right on that rock, man. Right where he should be. That's crazy, man. Good fish, I should have caught him. I have no excuse. It's like a 16 incher, give or take. It's unfortunate, man. Oh, 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 oh. That might be the same fish. This is gonna be a tough fight. I think it's the same fish. My line is tangled on myself. Yep. I gotta get over here. But I'll never land it. It's a real good fish. It's not even that he's huge. He's just gonna be hard for me to land him just because of where he is. Like if I was on that other side, maybe if I get up on this rock. Beautiful fish. He's healthy. I think I can get him here in a second. He's about done. Let's go! <laughs> God, dude, that's such a pretty fish. What a fish, boys. That's probably a, that's a 16 inch brown probably, give or take. He was sitting right here in front of me. I think I lost this fish once and he ate again. Or there's two browns of identical size in here, I don't know which. That's crazy. Brown's probably gonna be really close to that bank there. Oh god, dude. Yo, 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 yo. Hey! Big brown. Like a 20.
Right underneath that log where I said he was going to be. Uh, stay there for a second. Okay. It's a big fish. Big brown. He can't get up that log. If he does, I'm screwed. What is he doing? Come on, dude. Don't go over there. Come on, don't do that. Come back down to me. baby holy cow what? oh look at that bad boy that's a good fish man female all right guys so caught a really good brown trout the fishing's like insane right now i think caught a native brook trout several wild browns and i hooked this big old girl right out from underneath this log i'll hold this fish up real quick hopefully she's nice to me but oh yeah i mean that is a perfect brown trout right there perfect female so anyways we will get this girl released and then we'll keep fishing because i think we'll catch a few more of these fish if we really want to so let's do it Oh, that's a stick. <laughs> I thought I hooked a good brown. It was a stick. That was a bite. It's definitely a bite. He might come back for it. There it is. Wow. That's a brown trout. Oh, there's a little itty bitty, bitty, itty bitty baby brown. You like to see it though, because you know what that means? One day, that little guy right there will be a giant. What? Probably a fish over there. If I can reach it. I think I reached it. Close enough. I'll let it run through there. A good one? Oh, it's a stick. <laughs> I thought he actually had a fish. I'll be dang. There we go. Over here, buddy. What is that? It's not a brook trout, is it? That guy's is a native brook trout. A good one too. A solid native. I'm gonna show you off. I mean, that seriously is like a 10, 11 inch native. Probably 10. What a stud, man. Gorgeous fish. I'll get the camera for him. See if there's anything else in this hole, real quick. Yeah got a native in there but is there something else other than me getting almost stuck on that rock yeah get on and down through there buddy oh got another bite oh big yep big brown 
in the same hole as that native brook trout. Big brown, big brown. Oh my God! Why do they look so big when they jump? What are the odds I land this one too? Are we gonna go two for two or am I gonna lose this one? You see that one jump? Uh, you brown jump? Yeah. yeah. Hey, will you net this fish? Yeah, 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 yeah. No, you're good. I'll talk to you about it and grab that net. Don't yeah, let it. Awesome. Just throw it on the bank. Just kind of get below it, sort of. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Out to the left. Yeah. Okay. And if he runs, we'll deal with it there. I'm just gonna lift his head. He's right here, Sam. Yeah, I see you. All right. I'm just gonna kind of lift his head and back up. Well, nope. Never mind. Come on, drag. Peel out. That's a beautiful... Look at the colors on that brown trout. Yeah, buddy. Yeah, buddy. Don't do that to me. That's right. Pretty blue. Okay, he's going over there. Yeah, you're just kidding. Back up a little bit. We'll just keep as a unit here. And eventually, he will be ours. Dude, these jumps these fish are putting on are incredible. I'm just gonna keep pulling over here yep. if I can. Yep. I'm gonna lift. No, I'm not either. God bless. Look at that fish. Sorry, bud. No, no, no. You're you're, not, doing, great. you're doing, doing great. You're doing great. You're doing great. When he's ready, he'll let us. All right. Yep. Let's kind of back up a little more. There it is. I'm gonna keep trying to pull. No, hold on. Wait a second. Yep. I'm gonna try to pull him out of that current. Okay. That way, if he makes a big move, he's in the shallower stuff. <laughs> Assuming I don't stand up, fall over. Right Come on, you dog. When they get in that current, man, you yeah. just can't even... Be working with you now. All right, if he wants to pull his head up. Nope, 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 nope. Wait a second, wait a second. Nope, he's still not ready. He's still pulling pretty hard. He sees me too. Yeah, but he knows I'm here now. if I pull and he doesn't... Uh, okay, he's he's getting ready now. You ready? Come over here. Whoop. Whoop, oh, baby! It's another big brown. <laughs> Dude, look at oh. that guy. Look at the colors on him, He's man. Out, yeah. What? That was the same pocket I caught I that native brook trout. <laughs> all right, nice. let's go over here towards the bank. Just keep him in the water, he'll be all right. That's so cool, dude. So, this is my second big brown of the day. I literally caught a native brook trout out of that run and then turned around and immediately caught a, this brown trout out of the run. Oh! I'm just trying to unhook him so I can hold him up for you guys. Whoa! He about got out of the net. That would have been over. Have been over before it started. All right, I'm gonna hold this fish up for you guys real quick, and hopefully this fish will be nice for us. Look at that. It's another like 18, 19, 20 inch brown trout. That one's a male. The last one was a female. But yeah, I'm thrilled with that fish. Seriously, that's awesome. So uh, I'll go ahead and release this guy, and we'll keep fishing. I mean, that's two big browns now so far. Two native brook trout. I mean, this is like one of the best days I've had here in a, in a long time. See if we can get Lucas on a fish too. I managed to hook and land one more big brown, which is probably the biggest of the day. Unfortunately, I wasn't recording for the hit, and even if I had been, the GoPro was pointed directly at my feet, so I wasn't giving away too much about the location. Third big brown of the day. I'm trying to keep the camera down so I don't spot burn this too much. Would you relax for 30 seconds? Dude, he's just so strong. We can go around in circles all day long. You're eventually going to end up in my net. This might be it. <sighs> However, the interesting part about this catch wasn't the fish itself, but what happened right after I landed the fish. So if I take a picture with this in the background, it's kind of nondescript. Yeah, you don't have to really pull it out. I give it a Oh! There it is! Oh! Dude, you broke one of them! Oh! <laughs> dude, how did, how did you do that, dude? Well, I do. That was partially my fault. I, I've got, I've literally got oh! extra pieces. I've got extra pieces. It's good. It's fine. It's fine. I've literally got extra pieces of all of them. No, dude. <laughs> to be fair, I laid it down here in a pile of sticks, so that's partially my fault. You're good, dude. I've got extra pieces of this entire rod. Yep, that's the sound of my fishing rod crunching underneath Lucas's foot. To be fair, I shouldn't have laid my rod down in a pile of sticks, and I was so distracted by the fish that I wasn't paying attention to what he was doing when he was walking over. Either way, it wasn't a huge deal because the rod came with an extra tip section anyways. 
However, it did end my day of nymphing and it ends this video. Lucas was pretty tore up about breaking my rod, so leave him a few words of encouragement in the comments below. And as always, thanks for watching.